Dmitry Skorniakov runs what was one of Ukraine's largest agricultural enterprises, but three quarters of his land is now held by the Russians. With seaports blocked, he's having trouble exporting grain from last year's harvest. Now we still have a huge uh, store, a huge amount of uh, grain which is still not exported, and in a month we'll have new harvest of winter wheat and uh, rapes, and it is a huge problem at the moment. These giant sacks are full of last year's harvest, some damaged in the fighting before the Russians withdrew from here. This great pile of corn is no longer fit for consumption. The field storage bags were destroyed in the fighting and it's been exposed to the elements. Now it has to be thrown away. Some grain is getting out, loaded onto trucks to take to Romania or by train to Poland. It's much slower and more expensive. Earlier, Ukraine's Deputy Minister of Agriculture told me of the limitations of these alternative routes. We could reach the maximum of up to 2 million tons per month by this route. It's still, it's only not more than half of the possibility of the sea. So we could cover 40-50% only of what we need. Even if shipping lanes are reopened, it could still take years to get back to normal. This is prime agricultural land, but when the Russians retreated, they mined the fields. So now they lie fallow. And all along the road here are these signs warning people to stay away. These tractors were blown up by mines, but that's the least of Dmitry Skorniakov's worries. The biggest problem is that agriculture producer who is not able to sell grain now doesn't have money to buy because all credit programs from international suppliers are stopped right now and we don't have enough enough to see it. So next year I expect it will be much worse than this year. Ukraine and Russia are both major grain exporters. Russia blames Western sanctions for the shortages. Ukraine blames the blockade of the Black Sea. But until this is resolved, the world faces a growing food crisis with the poorest countries the biggest victims. <laughs>